Our top story this half hour, one that has captivated the area and the nation. Today is the one year anniversary of a family tragedy turned murder mystery. News 3's Andrew Davis is joining us in the Lowcountry newsroom with the latest on the investigation and Alec Murdoch's growing legal troubles. Well, the call went out the night of June 7, 2021 from the Murdoch's Moselle property in Colleton County. Two people shot dead. It's a call that turned this family upside down and started a series of events that ended with the patriarch of the family in jail and the speculation about the murders running rampant. I think the police and the immediately my wife and child shot badly. That was the voice of Alec Murdoch to the 911 operator just after he found the bodies of his wife and son. I've been up to it now. It's bad. Okay. Oh. Okay, and are they breathing? No, ma'am. Paul and Maggie Murdoch were found near the kennel on the 1,700-acre Colleton County property. An autopsy showed both had been shot multiple times. At the time, Paul was awaiting trial in the death of Mallory Beach, a 19-year-old girl killed in a boating accident in 2019. Alec Murdoch, a high-profile lawyer at a family firm, a legendary name in Hampton County, a name that would soon be tarnished by a series of alleged financial crimes. Alec Murdoch has been called a person of interest by his own lawyers in the murders. He said he was visiting his father, Randolph Murdoch, in the hospital at the time. Randolph died just days later. After the murder, a tip line was created and a $100,000 reward offered for information into the killings, a reward that ended in September with no apparent tips. That same month, Murdoch's attorney Dick Harputlian went on national television to say his team knew about a suspect in the case. We're not SWED, we're not law enforcement, we don't have their tools, but we think uh, we'll know this week whether, whether the one suspect we're looking at bears for, further scrutiny. It turned out that information did not end in an arrest. What's your name? Alex Murdoch. That was the other 911 call in September from Alec saying he was attacked on the side of the road. I got a flat tire mm -hmm. and I stopped and somebody stopped to help me and when I turned my back they tried to shoot me. He later admitted he tried to pay Curtis Smith, a friend and Murdoch's alleged drug dealer, to kill him so Murdoch's son Buster could get the $10 million insurance policy. It's a claim Smith has denied. Murdoch was charged for making a false 911 call for that incident and then more than 70 other charges, all connected to alleged insurance schemes where he took money from his clients, millions in some cases, all for himself. His good friend and fellow lawyer Corey Fleming, as well as former Palmetto State Bank CEO Russell Lafitte, are also facing criminal charges in connection with that alleged insurance scam. Murdoch has claimed the reason he committed these crimes is because of his opioid addiction. He entered rehab, he says, after a long battle exacerbated by these murders. Alex Murdoch was taken from rehab and remains behind bars in Richland County on $7 million bond. Just today, a judge denied Alex's disclaimer of interest in his wife's estate. He said he doesn't want any of the money or property from Maggie's estate, but attorneys in his six remaining civil cases argued successfully that he was using the legal system to try and hide the money from any potential settlement or judgment against him. Andrew Davis, WSAV News 3, on your side.